Mr. Speaker, it would be remiss of me if I don't comment on this climate change bill, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, whereas we know the effects of climate change on us, on the country, on the lesser developed countries, because we are, we meet the least and we suffer the most, Mr. Speaker. I want to urge the people of St. Lucia to adopt matters, adopt changes in their life, things they can control, Mr. Speaker. Very simple things. Mr. Speaker, we know of all the things that we do not control. But there are some simple things that we should practice as a people, Mr. Speaker. I speak about disposal of waste and garbage in our rivers and waterways, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Mr. Speaker, these are very simple things. This morning on my way to work, Mr. Speaker, I was looking into the Waterworks Road waterway. And in there, Mr. Speaker, were fridges, stoves, old chairs, machines, pieces of wood, all kinds of things, Mr. Speaker, that when the rain falls, it will cause flooding because it will block the waterways, Mr. Speaker, and then people will come and see their house got flooded and the government must intervene because their house got flooded, Mr. Speaker. Very, very simple things, Mr. Speaker. Clean the drains in front of our house, Mr. Speaker. Very simple. Clean it. If everybody cleans it, and, and I, I remember reading the Singapore story, and they will always speak about Singapore. We are 238 square mile country, just like Singapore. This, that rhetoric that, like, none of us never ran any business before. Singapore, Mr. Speaker. The essence of Singapore was each in many cases, each individual doing something. There was a, f a flower planting time. There was a time when everybody was asked to plant in front of their home to beautify the whole street, Mr. Speaker. If everybody cleans in front of their drain, Mr. Speaker, the, wa the, the water will not cause flooding in some cases. Very, very simple things, Mr. Speaker. And we, we've reached a stage where to kill in front of your home, you need a contract. Mr. Speaker, this is, this is a very, very serious situation, Mr. Speaker, in that instead of everybody cleaning the legal space, they need a contract, Mr. Speaker. Another issue is the prevalence of people who have lots in castries and do not clear it. They have lots in castries, in areas, they do not clear it, Mr. Speaker, and bush and grass grows so you have a, a little part in, in the kitchen where there is overgrown bushes, people throw garbage in there. They, Mr. Speaker, all these simple things, if we practice them as a people, Mr. Speaker, can help, can help us adapt to what is inevitable, inevitable, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I also want to touch on the, the insurance factor, Mr. Speaker. Insurance premiums are increasing every day. It's almost, it's very difficult to insure your house, Mr. Speaker, because of the prevalence of hurricanes in the region, Mr. Speaker. And a big threat to our tourism industry is the cost of insurance for properties near the water, near the, the, the sea, Mr. Speaker, near, near the beaches. So climate change, has very serious repercussions for the people of the country. And whereas we may not be able to deal with the big things, each of us, in our own little way, must understand that we can assist, we can help Mr. Speaker by using simple things, Mr. Speaker. Everybody wants the construction of walls. And such, Mr. Speaker, there are grass, there are grasses and things you can use to help mitigate against, to, against landslides. Very simple, Mr. Speaker. And the minister in charge of forestry, Mr. Speaker, he, he will have 
to ensure that his ministry causes education in that regard, Mr. Speaker. We have spoken about that several times before. How little things, little mitigation methods, Mr. Speaker, that do not cost a lot of money, but will assist in this phenomenon of climate change, Mr. Speaker. So, Mr. Speaker, I support the bill, Mr. Speaker. The Minister of Sustainable Development is very passionate, Mr. Speaker. He is he also is the minister who has responsibility for Sidima, Mr. Speaker. I thought I would allow, I thought he was, he was very capable to take over the Greens of Sidima, and he's doing a very, very good job with Sidima, Mr. Speaker. And he also was representing St. Lucia at COP 29, 28, Mr. Speaker, and he, he gave a good account for himself, Mr. Speaker. And that's how the, the Labour Party is growing. That is how each one, of, each one of us is developing, Mr. Speaker. So when the time comes, each one of us will learn from each other to have a formidable team to continue leading this country into the future. I thank you, Mr. Speaker.